Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and what we're doing today is part four of my boat build series. You know, I'm building a 17-foot flats boat. Um, well, technical polling skiff. And here's where we're at. So what I'm doing now is bulking out the sides of the boat just to, you know, really give it some more structural integrity because, you know, it's got to take a lot of beating because a lot of weight goes on the the side rails and the front and back cap to it, you know, the decks where you're standing and casting, or the back where you have a polling platform and you're polling. So I gotta do that, bulk out the sides of the boat. I gotta make some rod holders, you know, for underneath, I want each side to be able to do like three rods, you know, on either side of the boat, kind of underneath the rail. And basically just get everything looking good. So I'll do a lot of fairing, and fairing is basically bondo for boats. So, you know, when you bondo your car, fix, you know, bodywork on that, that's what the fairing is. So I really just want to get it looking nice and very presentable and um, safe and strong and, and everything like that. So, so let's go ahead and check out what, what's going on. Okay, so here she is. Got my plumbing in. You know, forward uh, mounted gas tanks. Got the whole, the whole floor in, um, you know, sole of the boat. And it's all sealed because, uh, you know, there's not much underneath there. It was only at its, at its deepest point, it was only five and three quarters inches. So the whole thing is filled with uh, closed cell foam underneath. So, you know, my transom's all done and reinforced and everything like that. So now what I'm going to do is I actually have all this stringer material left over. I'm going to, uh, you know, this one, so I got to cut by hand because my miter saw won't cut it. So that's going to suck. But <laughs> I already got the angles cut for that. So those are going to bulk up the sides there, you know, give it some structural integrity uh, vertically on the sides of the boat. And then I have this other string of material that I can cut with my uh, electric miter saw. So uh, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be integrity and I'm going to um, put my rod holders on that that are going to be mounted up underneath the rails. So that's going to be pretty cool. And all I'm using is this uh, EPS foam, extruded polystyrene, I think it's called, that I got at uh, Home Depot. It's what you use for insulation. So I'm just going to take two of them and um, you know each one of them is three quarters. So I'll have an inch and a half thick of this stuff and I'm going to wrap it in um, you know, my 12 ounce fiberglass and that's what I'm going to have on the sides and then fiberglass over it to make the uh, sides stronger because you need the up and down and the twisting and all the different types of uh, stresses that are going to be on the boat, you know, for you to yeah, be, be safe. But yeah, so the, the flooring is all down there. I use 5200 marine uh, adhesive sealer and then I fiberglassed over top of that so this thing isn't going anywhere and it's it's all set it's all set there's no room for water to go well, first of all water can't get in there but even if it did it's all full of uh, this the, the styrofoam so I think we're pretty good that's where I'm at all right so here's how I make these uh, supports for the boat right here I just take a piece of uh, cardboard like this I get something straight edge I figure out what I want to hide which is just things that are going to be in this front compartment and I just kind of figure out the angles using this piece of uh, cardboard and then once I do that uh, I'll use that real stuff uh, that I'm going to use which is the same thing that I used for the um, for the transom and stuff that PVC I don't even know what it's called but so I'm going to have this and then one on the other side over here and you know, I'm gonna have uh, fishing rod holders and uh, all these different things that are gonna be attached to the sole of the boat, the sides of the boat, and the caps. So uh, it's really gonna add a lot of structural support to the uh, actual boat itself. Here, let me show you some of the other things I got. All right, so here, uh, here is the I had some le leftover stringer material, so I'm using that um, to go ahead and uh, that's for the back of the boat because the back's going to have a polling platform and all kinds of things there. So I really wanted the back to be strong. Uh, there's, I don't know how many sheets or layers of fiberglass I did. I think it was like six or 
seven it was a lot for sure it was a lot for sure uh, so I'm not worried about this boat falling apart but I want it to be nice and sturdy and kind of last forever because as much work as this thing took uh, I'm not planning on ever doing this again but here let me show you the rod holders all right let's look in here it's dark dark still and here's some of the rod holders I'm making these are gonna be on either side of the boat I want them to be able to hold at least three rods each six rods ought to be enough on both sides and here's this, uh, this I, I don't know what it's called I got I should probably figure out that name for make a movie about it <laughs> but here's more uh, more of the things I made to, to cover it let's see what's this say left from stern okay all right so that means this oh, my wires caught up Is that that's gonna be there so you can see I'm just uh, using these to try to make the boat look better and hide whatever crap I have shoved up under the back and up on the, under the front so next thing I got to do is I got to build out the sides and I'm gonna use some more of this uh, this Divinacell stuff right here it's just that real absorbent honeycomb stuff and that's what I'm gonna make it and just cut it into strips and then I'm either going to uh, use 5200 marine adhesive to um, attach it to the sides or fiberglass it, you know, just with the epoxy resin. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet, but uh, that's where I'm at right now. Here's where I'm at at this point. I've gotten my rod holders in and I got in the back supports in and now i just have to bulk out the sides so the thing's really starting to come along now once i get everything bulked out and looking good um i'm gonna prime everything because then i'm gonna throw the cap on i gotta make the caps and stuff for it but uh yeah i switched i switched my plans around i'm using this this divinacil stuff instead of the uh the foam that I was going to use. I just couldn't get the foam right. Um, so that was a big waste of time and money for this thing. You know, that was a rookie, rookie mistake right there. So, yeah, that was a waste of time. But uh, it's just not nearly as, as strong and sturdy as, as this stuff is. I mean, it's just not even close. It's got so much flex in it. Whereas this one is just hard as a rock. So all I got to do really is get the front, uh, the front supports, you know, up there that are going to be under the front deck and kind of hide the gas tank a little bit. Um, get all these side panels put in. So these are the side panels. What number is this? Number three. So I guess that's this one. So I just got to get these panels in the sides right here, you know, like this up against the up against the walls these all slide right in right here you know on the on the sides and uh, those are going to be I'm going to use this 5200 stuff and then I'm going to fiberglass over top of it so well, everything's going along just fine I'm getting to that point where I can see the finish line so I'm pretty happy about it so here's where I'm at at this point I've gotten everything fared in that's that pink stuff I just have to um, you know, get it all sanded down and get it looking good. Uh, like I said, it's just like Bondo on a car, you know, when you're fixing body work. You just got to get it where it's presentable. But uh, I got everything uh, basically fared in. Uh, I'll sand it and probably do another little coat. And then the next step is going to be prime everything in here and get a, get a coat of paint on it. Uh, some white paint that I have, the poly polyurethane paint. So the transom's all done. I got that all looking the way I want it. Had to beef out the back a little bit there. Um, just a smidge. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it actually. I, I, I like the way it's turning out. So um, this is going to be the end of uh, part four. So part five uh, coming up next.